As we track Hurricane Francine here, it's all about making sure you are prepared. So what better way to stay informed than when checking in with our local leaders to find out what is the messaging? What do you and your family need to know well ahead of Hurricane Francine making landfall? Got a couple of those uh, leaders with us this morning. You got uh, Michael Kimball, the, the chief of Baton Rouge Fire Department, and of course, Fred Rayford. I've been around for a minute. Now the director of transportation and drainage and EBR. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate the time, um, and the timing is, is key here. But I wanted to start. We, we were kind of talking about the conversations that you guys have. The Mayor's Office, Homeland Security, Emergency Preparedness, that Emergency Operations Center. It's a lot of folks in one place having the important conversations. Let folks know what goes on in that spot. Matt, the mayor activated us yesterday. All our teams have come together. And when I say teams, it's not just the fire service, law enforcement. It's everybody in City Parish that works together collectively to provide a service to our citizens. Anytime somebody has a need, we're all in a room working together. The fire service knows what Mr. Fred got going on in his business. He knows what we have going on in our responses to the city. The police department, Chief Morris and I work collectively every day, but now we're sitting in the same room looking at each other, making decisions to serve the citizens at a better time. Because it has to be a cohesive conversation, and a big part of that is making sure you all work together. And Fred, your agency has been busy here. Oh, yes, and you know, the Chief is absolutely right, because without that communication, it is important because they count on us to remove the trees that fall so the fire trucks and emergency response vehicles can get to locations that need to be. I, I'm a, you know, I hate to say it, but it's, it's reality. We, I think we work very well together. I think as a team, the concept, and you know, that's what the mayor has always asked for, to make sure everybody knows what everybody's doing and working together. And we have done that probably for the last five or six years. I mean, I'm really impressed. For somebody who's been here this long, as I have, <laughs> uh, it, is, it is really being a big asset for our department also. This is something you talked about, been here for as long as you have. For folks who go back to maybe 2008, Hurricane mm -hmm. Gustav was the bar setter for Baton Rouge. That storm taught us a lot. And since then, we have grown with technology. And it's a, we're a lot more proactive now, are we not, with what we're doing? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think the technology aspect, but also just from an equipment standpoint, you know, what you used to have to use 10, 12 years ago and what type of equipment to today is good for safety standpoint for our employees, but it also allows us to be more responsive and be uh, more efficient mm -hmm. about what we're doing. And I think all those things are uh, a major component of trying to help the citizens and protect what we're supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis. On a note of efficiency here, when we talk about emergencies, the point that both you and Chief T.J. Morris touched on was not tying up 911. Let's talk about these non-emergencies, tree down in the road, or another emergency there. What type of emergency or what type of situation are you asking folks to call in maybe 311 instead? If it's not a life or death emergency, yeah. right? if there's not somebody that's in need of a medical care, need of some type of law enforcement where your life is in jeopardy, call 311. Mm -hmm. Leave 911 for the true emergencies for our citizens that truly need that. We understand we all work together. Uh, use 311. That's what it's for. Use the three, not the nine. And if you use 311, you're going to get some support when we can get to you. 911, we come in very quickly, but yeah. don't tie that up for us, please. How many different stations? Remind folks again, how many different uh, uh, fire uh, district stations do you guys have? And are, uh, look, they're going to be manned constantly, and you can bring in anybody you want at any time, but we are well covered. Yes, sir. Within the city of Baton Rouge, we have 19 firehouses. There you go. We've upped our staff and we've added some additional engine companies. We've brought in our specialized structural collapse teams. We have uh, many people on the ground, the experts. If that event unfortunately happens, we'll have the resources to get to you very quickly and mitigate that situation. Incredible. Chief, Fred, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we hope to check in with you throughout the day. Uh, absolutely. No problem. That's it's all it. about staying safe and staying prepared. And actually, one of the ways you can do that is make sure you have this. Scan the QR code with your phone right now. Pull out that uh, phone of yours with the uh, camera app. Scan that QR code. It's going to give you easy, free access to the First Alert Weather app. Great resource at a time like this. And Thanks. as we get information from our local leaders and officials here, we're going to push it out to you through the mm -hmm. app as well. Stay with us. We'll be right back.